Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're looking at the C101CC setting up the joystick or HOTAS controls. It's important to note that I have an X56 Cytec Rhino. You'll probably have a different stick to me. So although you can't copy the exact buttons that I use, I will explain as I set the controls where I put them on the joystick and then you can have a similar setup as me if you like. If you then go and watch the tutorial videos that we do on the aircraft, it helps. Right, let's go to options, controls. Uh, where are we going to find it at the top here, I guess? C101CC. Let's quickly explain these columns. We've got the action here. There are hundreds of actions in this aircraft. We will only need a few. We're just going to set the basic skeleton up. We need to fly and use our weapons and navigation. Next, we've got the category that that action falls in. Next, we've got the keyboard command that's currently bound to that action. Next, we've got the left HOTAS button that's bound to that action. Next, we've got the right HOTAS that's bound to that action. The left HOTAS is, you know, your thrust stick side of the HOTAS. The right HOTAS is the control stick side of the HOTAS. So first of all, we're going to start with axis commands. Uh, now, I've already got these all set up because I've flown the bird. We're just going to basically tape over them so you can imagine that they're not there at the moment. First thing we're going to get is zoom view. It's something you will need to fly. It'd be very almost impossible to fly without it. I'm going to set it up as an axis on my left HOTAS. So I'm going to double left click there. I have a turny wheel on the top of top right of my HOTAS thrust stick. I'm going to turn it right, turn it left. It's picked it up. OK. Test it. And it's good. Next is our thrust. We only have one engine, so I'm going to have both of my left throttles linked together. Double click here, move it forward, move it backwards. OK, it's picked it up, test it, and we're good to go. Next, we have our rudder axis. We're going to double left click here on our right HOTAS. You will probably have control pedals that you need to put here. I can't use control pedals, so I'm going to have a twist grip on my control stick right HOTAS. I'm going to twist it left, twist it right. It's picked it up. OK, test it. Lovely. Next, I'm going to go axis tune. You'll have to do these three axis tune. Now, you can see that my stick is slowly getting worse and worse. That dot wants to be in the middle of that black square there. It wants to be about there. So that, if I just wobble the stick, that's where it's settling at the moment, which means that it is issuing input controls when it should be neutral. So what we're going to do is add some dead zone, so just enough dead zone, so that the flat here covers this red. That means in the stick's natural position, where it settles, it will not be giving any input. Next, we want curve. 25 is my standard curve. You may choose others, but 25 just works for me with all of the aeroplanes to keep it nice and simple. This gives us more control around the small movements of the stick, less control of the big movements of the stick. So more control here, less control up there, and you hardly ever use the big movements of your stick. Next we go to roll, double click. Uh, we're going to move the stick right, left, then right. This is the right HODAS control stick. OK, test. Axis tune. We don't need any dead zone. We do need some curve. OK. Next, pitch, double click, F stick forward, stick back, OK, test, OK, axis tune, curvature, we're going to go 25 as usual, OK, and that is our axis down. Next, we're going to go to search to find the remainder. So we've done the axis buttons, now we're going to do the binary but on and off type buttons. So we're going to type in flaps under search, and we've got flaps, all of these different flaps we can use. What we want is flap next and previous detent. I've got a four-way switch I use on the right side of my left HOTAS thrust stick and I use the up and down positions for flaps. So this is the one I always use for my flaps. So it's going to be the down position for my, of that four-way switch and previous flap detent, I want the up position of that four-way switch. Next, I have a switch exactly above that that's used for air brakes. So that's type brake. There it is, air brake, extend and retract. Same thing, left HOTAS on the right side of the control stick, down for extend, up for retract. Let's see if we've got an auto start. I forgot to check for that. We do have an auto start. This is something that's very useful to have. I'm going to have it where I always have it on the top right of the base of the left HOTAS. So on. And let's see if we have an auto stop, which I'm sure we will do. Same thing, but the down position for that switch. Okay. That is our left HOTAS done. So next we're going to move to the right HOTAS. Uh, we're going to start with the triggers. So first, trigger number one. We're going to delete that and type in fixed there. Fixed weapon trigger will fire the cannon and we're simply going to have it on our right HOTAS control stick as what I call trigger number one, the main trigger. Okay, now recently added, uh, this is December 2019, is a guard for the trigger and the weapon release trigger. So next we need to go and do the guard or safety catch for this trigger. To get there, I'm just going to type in trigger and we've got binds for lock, unlock and rear cockpit lock 
and unlock. Now the only one I'm going to bind is unlock. If you want to be able to lock it again then you can go ahead but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it unlocked and I'm just going to use a modifier here. So I'm going to press there and I'm going to pre press and hold left control and then pull trigger number one again. So to unlock the trigger guard or the trigger safety, left control and trigger. Next is the stores release to drop bombs, fire rockets and so on. So we're going to go stores Stores release button here, and we're going to set here on the right control stick what I'd call the secondary trigger, just on the right of the head of the control stick there. And we've got a similar thing here. We've got a guard for it, a safety guard, and we can have an open and close. I'm just going to have the open ability, and it's going to be a left control modifier and trigger two again. That's that. Okay, next we're going to do our brakes, our wheel brakes. So type in brake, which we will need three buttons set. We need wheel brake on, which does both wheel brakes at the same time. I've got a switch at the very front of the right control stick, right hoe desk that I always use. So let's do that. And next we need our left and right differential wheel, wheel braking for if you want to be able to taxi. On the top of our control, right hoe desk control stick, we've got three four-way switches. We're going to use the bottom right one and we're going to use the left and right element for this. So left on that, on that four-way hat switch. And for right, right on that four-way hat switch. Next, we need to set up our trim. I'm going to type in here trim. That's a bit annoying. There's lots, but okay, we can do this. So we've got trim left wing down. Another four-way hat switch on the top right of the control stick. We're going to click left wing down, the left part of that four-way switch. Down, the down command, or the down facility of that hat switch. Up, up facility of that hat switch. And right the right function of that four-way switch. Okay, so that's the trim done. Now the only other thing I want is the gun range siding. So we're going to go here, type range, range selector next and previous. Uh, now if we go back to the bottom right hat switch where we set the wheel brakes left and right, we're now going to set the up and down function of that four-way switch. For next, we're going to press the up function. For down, uh, for previous, we're going to press the down function. And that's that hat, hat switch complete. Right, that's it. That's the main basic control setup. I hope that's useful and see you later.